Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely Tarot. So good to see you guys here today. This reading is for my beautiful Virgos. I'm so excited for you guys here today. This is a good reading. Unlike my Leos, my Leos reading was bad. I mean, not bad, but it was just sad, you know? It's one of those days, we either get the goods or the bads. We take it all together, okay? If you're not a Virgo, but you stumbled upon this video and you resonate with it, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you're not a Virgo, let's say sun, moon, or rising, you could have it in your chart, okay? All right, so we're starting off with the sun. Virgo, right? Did I say Virgo? This is Virgo. Virgo has uh, Leo energy. <laughs> this is the good aspect of Leo energy, right? This is you basking in the glory of the sun. This is you hugging the sunflower, right? Essentially a crop that you probably worked so hard to harvest and then it's all yours and it bloomed to huge heights better than what you expected and you're hugging it, ready to embrace the beauty of all the hard work that you've done prior to the summer, right? Even during the summer for some of you guys. Then you get this beautiful empress energy with the world, right? This is you knowing that because you've sowed a good crop and you've you know done well for yourself, essentially you're saying goodbye to this phase of, of, of hard work, investments, delays, you know, if you were feeling like you weren't moving forward, now you are, right? And, you know, saying goodbye to those energies that, that at one point, you know, you felt like, why am I still stuck here? Why does it seem like the most, the longest, the longest ending ever, right? Well, the longest ending ever, and it never got here, right? And now it's here. It's here. It's coming, right? You're saying goodbye to the adventure. You're at the world. You're at the ending of the you're at the ending of it all, right? You actually came out of it and you you came out alive, right? Some of you guys wanted to come out of it unscathed, but that didn't happen. But you came out alive nonetheless. Then when you get, you know, this is a, a very powerful reading when you get justice with judgment, right? This is actually something, a contract ending, right? Like I said, the endings are here. All, all of the hard work you've done just to get to, to an ending, ending point uh this to me though would when it comes to justice and judgment you're about to get uh something in, in your favor some of you guys may be going through like uh divorce or court proceedings maybe child custody something like that maybe you just have a case a court case a lawsuit something like that so whatever you're going through it looks like to me like you're with judgment right you're waiting to receive something you're waiting to receive a message communication good news uh the next steps into your life phase right in order for you to move forward this the sea had to to part ways for you right the divine had to make that happen for you it's almost as if you're waiting to hear good news right and whenever you do receive this good news that's going to have you moving in a fast-paced trajectory because this is trajectory fast moving um communication fast moving energy forward right whatever news you were waiting for whatever was the delay it's it's coming soon it will be here right it's like and then too you have the moon here now right with with the sun this is a balance balanced energy right you were sitting there hoping for the best waiting for the sun to come out and now it's like once illumination hits, you can move forward towards your path, right? The next steps of your path. But again, or it could be a nighttime, right? Because you get a page of swords. These are, these are again, communication, a message. It could come through in the night, not expecting it to come in at night or whenever, you know, you're not even, when it comes in, you're not going to be expecting it. Something's going to come in, communication. And it's going to be justice for you. Whatever it is, like I said, some of you guys are going through the legal courts. I don't usually get that, but because I'm getting justice with judgment, it means that there's something like a case that you got going on. Um, but you're going to get the news. It's going to be a favorable outcome because when it does, you're going to be able to move forward with your life to a new path, right? Because this is why it's saying endings. You're getting endings with judgment and justice. Yeah. This is like a big, big deal. Maybe some of you guys are going to have long-weighted conversations that you were not anticipating. 
something out of nowhere is going to come in and it's going to help you change. It's going to help you move forward. You were not expecting this, or maybe you were, but you were hoping for a good outcome. It's going to come in. All right, and then once we're done with all this energy, with the Page of Swords, with the Moon energy, something that's going to be illuminated, it's going to keep you, uh, help you go down a, a, a course that maybe you weren't anticipating. But with this message, again, it's, it's, it's going to help you move forward, right? Like we were talking. Illumination, divination. Once we're done with that, with communication or whatever, you're going to really sit there. Whatever this, this news is, whatever the confirmation is, whatever will be coming to you, maybe the long-awaited conversation is going to have you in sacral energy. This is sacral energy, right? This is you uh, really after, I guess, again, this is contemplation. Right? This person looks like she's heavily, intensely looking for something. This is you mustering up the courage to go after something that you've always wanted, or maybe it's going to put perspective into your life. The message is going to put perspective into your life, or it's going to have you looking at things differently. It's going to have you wanting to look forward to the next stages of your life, right? Because look, look, the sun, this person, which is back to you, going back to the sun, you looking forward to this, um, the confidence, the confidence it takes for you to go and pursue your happiness, which is this Ace of Cups, whatever that may be. Whatever this is, this long-awaited win, this long-awaited finale, this long-awaited whatever this is, is going to help you move forward. Which is something you've been wanting for a whole time for a very long time. You've just been stuck. You've been stuck. And I don't think it's 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 you. I think it's just it's just been that way. You've been delayed for a very long time. So it's like you're 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 kind of at this point, you're just getting irritated and you're getting ready to move, right? Once you receive the good news, of course. Beautiful energy. Anything else for my beautiful Virgos? Yeah, you got an eight, eight of swans again. It's like, it's like whatever this news is, whatever comes in, it's going to have you freaking moving fast. Look at the energy you're getting, the action energy you're going to gain. Because it's the same card, essentially. Yeah, it's going to change your life. Whoa. You got the queen of cups. But, but it's like in a whole swirling event of a tornado. Look, hold on, it fell. That up. Give me a second. Let me try to pick that up. Okay. This Queen of Cup energy. Look at this. It's like receiving something. Going from one, one, one dimension to another. Receiving something from from higher realm to another. This is you like fast moving energy. Like a. It just reminds me like really. Life-changing news, life-changing event. Dude, you got justice again. What the hell? This is scary. In a good way. <laughs> yeah, man, it's like justice is in your favor. Whatever comes in, whatever this news is, whatever the communication is, it's going to change your life. Hmm. Yeah, remember how this person was looking intently towards the Ace of Cups? You get a whole new... person was looking intently at the Ace of Cups, a whole new opportunity. You got the Ace of Wands after that. Whole new opportunity to go pursue things you've always wanted to. Maybe looking at things from a different perspective now because of the news. Yeah. This is crazy. The minute this news comes in, it's like you can finally let go. There's going to be an ending. A huge contract will be over. And now you can start anew with a new Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Yeah. Ooh. Yep, look. You can finally move forward. You can finally move forward to whatever you were looking for. It's like you can finally, you're no longer stuck, right? Because this person's in the desert. There's no sight. There's no sight to see. There's no nothing, right? They're just moving forward in the hopes that, that they'll get somewhere to, to the promised land, right? And we're talking biblical, biblical times. Hmm.
Any other advice? Yeah. You're going to welcome this new ace. You're going to welcome it. You're going to welcome this energy. Let me see here. It's a change of energy too. It's, it, it's like you haven't been in this energy in a very long time. Which is why it's like uh, going to be an adjustment for you. It might be a little scary because it's fast moving energy. You got the eight of wands. Um, with the six of wands, fast moving energy with the chariot. This is like finally moving forward from a conflict. It could be inner conflict, but I'm guessing this is outer. This is like something, like I said, a court case or some, some type of conflict that you were in that only made you stronger. Now you're going to be able to get out of it. Some of you guys are really literally signing the divorce papers or getting custody of your child. Though. So congratulations. You guys were fighting for a while, like I said. And if it's not that, I'm getting something legal for sure. It could be something too. Um, it's in the outside. Maybe it was an argument, something with work. I'm getting something like lawsuit or work related to. Yeah, look. You were literally praying in the night, just going within, hoping for a good outcome, hoping to get answers, hoping to be able to move on, move on from whatever this thing was. It was causing pain. It was causing heartache. It was causing like a frustration. And now you're able to get out of that. Beautiful. Any? Look, what? Ten of Pentacles. So you'll be able to move towards your Ten of Pentacles. Look. The Hermit to the Ten of Pentacles moving forward. This is what you've been wishing the Siren your whole life, and now you can finally head towards it. I mean, you did start with the Sun and then with the Ten of Pentacles. Literally, with the Sun twice, they came out twice. Justice came out twice. Yeah. Look at this. Whatever this truth is, the devil was banking on you not receiving it. Or hoping that you'd stay stuck because it still wants you bounded. It almost seems like you're still bounded a little bit uh, until the, 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 the news or message comes in. If this isn't legal, this could just be something from higher self bringing in that info to you. Maybe it's a, a perspective of how you've been living your life. Very chained, very bounded, and that it's time to get out of it. But whatever the message is, it's going to liberate you, right? Because it's justice, it's liberation, it's it's uh, you physically being able to move on from whatever the pain was, whatever you were stuck or bounded to, you were bounded. It almost seems like somebody was in jail too, shit. If somebody was in jail, maybe wrongfully accused or convicted or something like that, mm, you got a potential lawsuit on you. You're going to win that case. Shit, you should sue. Yep, that's all I got for you. All right, my beautiful Virgos. Till next time, bye.